Since the tragedy, Lauren Lelouch has mostly stayed within the hotel grounds. Traveling from Paris, this was her first trip for the Jewish pilgrimage in Nkriba. Still in shock, she doesn't want to stay too far from the police trucks parked outside the hotel. On Tuesday, she was less than 20 meters from the shooting. And then my cousin was screaming, Lauren, it's not firecrackers, it's gunshots. And suddenly I saw children running everywhere. I saw a policeman getting down on the ground, so we only had a few moments to react because we didn't understand. We were totally exposed. I have a feeling of guilt, a feeling of miracle and a feeling of shock because those images, I don't know if they will ever get out of my head. They will take time to heal. Riyaba had already been targeted in attacks in 2002 and 1985. Rudi Saada, a journalist, is pessimistic about what's next. I spoke with some pilgrims and from the few I've heard from, they feel broken. They are disgusted by the attack. It may take some time. In one of the Jewish neighborhoods on the island, Lahara, most shops are still closed during the day as a sign of mourning. But at night, some of them open up and offer comfort to the community. It's a really big tragedy, but that doesn't stop us from needing to carry on living. And nowhere is safe. It has to be said, because you know it happens everywhere. Off camera, many Jewish gerbans tell us about the sadness of not being able to say goodbye to the bodies of the two killed pilgrims. In France, anti-terrorism prosecutors have launched an investigation into the killing of one of its nationals in the attack.